to Battle of the Free Top Pattern. <laughs> Brought to you in association with our sponsor, Girl Charlie UK. Yay! <laughs> We're doing a really fun video today that we've been looking forward to for a week. Yes, we have. Because the amazing Girl Charlie have provided us with lots of lovely knit fabrics as we are wearing now yes. uh, to do a really cool video about different free top patterns these are all freely available online to download and they won't cost you a single penny no, so we nada. thought we would have a little look and try and battle a few against each other yes. so we picked a vest top and we picked a plain round neck t-shirt mm -hmm. and we also picked a boat neck t-shirt and we picked two of each mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to so pick them against each out. other so you can decide which one is the winner. Um, but let's first we'll tell you a little bit about Girl Charlie. Um, yes. Because they are an amazing uh, company that specialises just in jersey fabrics. Mm. Um, so they have a huge range of different knits in all different weights, all different types. Um, I think they were originally based in LA and they've only been in the UK for a short while. Yes. Um, but they've certainly made a big impact in the time that they're here. Definitely. And I think that any time you specialise in something you're going to obviously do a fantastic job. It sets you apart from others because yeah. I think they, they just spend the time to get the the highest level of jerseys and yeah. the most choice, that's yeah. the thing. And the thing we think sets them apart is a few things. One, it's a really nicely curated collection. Yes, um, so they've and very thought on about, trend. Yeah, always, always on trend. And I think they've thought about all the different types of jerseys that people would be interested in, different designs, florals and stripes, mm -hmm. planes, but then lots of um, other designs, whatever happens to be in the moment yes um, and they understand them really well so all of the information on their website is it, they're really well catalogued so it will tell you exactly what the content is it will mm -hmm. tell you how much stretch it's got mm -hmm. which I think if you're buying online you need to know so that you can be confident that you're picking the right one for your project so they you are a little bit quality. more on the pricey side aren't they so it's some of their jerseys are 17 18 pounds a meter but it is absolutely worth every penny yes. because um, it will look as nice when you've worn it, when you've made it the first time, um, as it will when it's had its 10th wash. Yeah. Um, it will always keep its colour and keep its shape and, um, and that's just, why we love it so much. Just think if you were to go into the high street and buy a, a, a long sleeve t-shirt, you know, if you went to Gap or Fat Face or something like yeah. that, it would cost you £25. So you would be cheaper to actually buy the fabric yeah. and do it Yeah, and yourself. then you actually get it to fit you well as well. Yes, exactly. So, right. And with a free pattern, all your all your expenditure is just on the fabric, so you can treat yourself to some extra nice fabric from Girl Charlie. Yes. <laughs> so, without further ado, yes. let's get into it. So, round one. In the red corner. We've got the Poly Top, which is by By Hand London, and this comes in a size range of 6 to 20. I made a size 12 from a double knit jersey, and I used one and a half metres, and it took me one to two hours to sew. And in the blue corner, dun, dun. <laughs> we have the Lego Tank from Itch to Stitch, which comes in sizes 00, zero to 20. I made a size 10 on the top and a 14 on the bottom because I'm a pear shape. Um, it's ideally suited to uh, jerseys with a 50% stretch. I used one metre and it took under an hour to sew. Fabulous. How did you find the Polly? The Polly was, um, was a bit tricksy is probably the best way to put it. Uh, the pattern is originally designed, I think, for a woven fabric. Mm -hmm. So the fact that I was sewing it in a jersey, even though it does say that uh, on the pattern you can sew it in a jersey, I think it is based for a woven. Mm -hmm. So the things that the bands were done in a very... Um, like traditional Plastic. bias binding. Like traditional bias binding, but it was very tricky on a very small piece of jersey yeah. to turn it under. Bearing that in mind, if I made another one, I would just do the bands in a traditional way that you would on any other top, yeah. and then it would be a lot quicker. Yes. Um, I did love the um, the, the sort of contrast yeah, trim yeah. at the front. I wasn't sure to begin with, mm -hmm. and I wasn't sure. I, I had trouble picking what fabric to yeah. use. I think you picked um, a great combination. But it, 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 I think it will. I think I will wear it. I think it's come up a bit big but again yeah. maybe that's because it was based on a woven fabric and I made it out of a jersey mm -hmm. so uh, if you're making it out of a jersey I would go down one or two sizes at least yeah I, what I might do after the video is I might take it in a little bit at the back yeah yeah because I feel like it concaves around my boobs uh-huh which is not a good look 
So, yeah. but it is comfortable. It's a nice, I think you could have a lot of fun with it. Yeah. You don't need to do the contrast bit at the front. You could do it all in the same fabric, mm -hmm. or you could have fun with stripes and things like yeah, that. Yeah. Um, but it it was it was. You could fiddly. even mix and match, and you could ha it'd be a good a, a opportunity to have a woven panel on yes. the knit top. So yes. you'd still get enough movement and stretch from the rest of the top. And you need so little of that that contrast fabric. It mm. would be something that if you you know if you had a little bit of a favourite fabric left, you could yeah. definitely use it because you need so little mm. but it was a fun one to sew it was uh but i uh, just fiddly with the pants that's yeah thing. Oh. and what about you with the lego well the lego i wasn't expecting to love i have to say we yeah. decided we wanted to do a vest top pattern i don't wear a lot of vest tops unless it's under uh cardies and mm. stuff um but um i was really surprised how much i loved it yeah. and it was one of those things that it was right at the last minute as well i finished sewing it and i liked the way it looked when it was sewn but then you know you're kind of dreading putting it on because you're thinking I'm not gonna like it and I really love it when it's not on me yeah and then I looked in the mirror and thought oh I do like this one yeah. actually um, and I have worn it loads um, and it's a really nice um, fit because it's nice and, and uh, well fitted on the top half yes I don't know if it's because I did have to size up two sizes for my hip so I blended between a 10 on the top and a 14 on the bottom because I didn't want it to be snug on the hips. So you've got a, um, bit of a and swing so on the bottom. It looks a bit more like a swing top. I don't yeah. know if it's designed to be that way, but that's the size of my body. Yes. So that's what I went with. Yeah. Um, and I'm really, really very happy with it. I love the bands. I love the bands on the on the neck and the arm. Um, most vest tops that I've made before I might have a band on the neck but don't have them on the arms, and I and I do really like the bands on yeah. the arms. Yeah. Um, and so I definitely want to make some more. And I absolutely love the Dutch fabric oh, that um, beautiful. Girl Charlie uh, yes. provided for that one. Yes. Um, it's really lovely and um, when we were looking at which fabrics we could pick it looked like they only had one metre left of that um, and obviously we're not going to promote a fabric that you guys can't go and buy um, so, <laughs> uh, so I didn't think I'd get to make it out of that one but it turned out they were reordering and it was fine so Perfect. I got to have my favourite so yes. that was brilliant. So it was good. So, yeah. And uh, just for a bit of contrast what we decided to do was we decided to each try on each other's tops yep. as well. There was a lot of changing before this video. So, uh, and and I really like the Lego as well. Mm -hmm. I think I would make it. I think I would maybe make it straighter because yep. I don't particularly like a swing top. Um, but it, it was really comfortable on. And I would definitely make a Lego. I'm not sure if I'd make another Polly. Yes. Um, I did like the Polly, but I did find that it was oversized. And even if I did size it down, I'm not sure that it's something that I would wear. Mm. Um, so I wouldn't make the Polly. No. Um, so I think we have the a clear winner on this one is that we have a clear winner. <gasps> The Lego wings. By knockout. And I think it's a knockout. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to make your own versions of our tops, mine was made with a plain black Pontiroma for the outside and also it was an off-white lattice Pontiroma for the panel in the middle. Mm -hmm. And my one was made in one of their homestead range called Dutch Delight. Mm. And we will put links below delight. so that you can go ahead and order your own fabric. Round two! <laughs> in the blue corner, we have the plantain from Deer and Doe with sizes 34 to 52. I made a size 42 out of a lovely uh, rayon jersey and uh, I needed 1.5 metres and it was sewn in under an hour. Fabulous. In the red corner, the Wanderlust t-shirt by Fancy Tiger. This comes in extra small to extra extra large. I made a medium from a lovely drapey jersey. It took 1.25 metres and took me under an hour to sew it. So how did they fare against each other? Yes, how was <laughs> yours? Well, I absolutely love the plantain. I've been saying for a while that I've been this looking the for you're the wearing. perfect... This is the one I'm wearing. Yeah. I've been looking for the perfect jersey top, something that has got the right neck, um, and the right fit on the sleeve and just the right amount of uh, swing at mm -hmm. the bottom. And I think I found it. I love the plantain, really, really do. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I've already got a black one that I've made um, and I think I'm planning them many, in lots many of more. different <laughs> colours. <laughs> Etc. 
sewed together really simply and easily. There's nothing to report other than that it does exactly what it says on the box. Yeah. And um, one of the great things about it, I haven't tried it yet, is it actually comes with a pattern for an elbow patch as well. All right. Um, which I'm thinking would be quite nice in some sort of faux suede or something like Ooh. that as a little uh, contrast. Nice. Or you could go for, for instance, a plain top with maybe a little stripey um, elbow yeah. patch or something like that. So yeah. it'd be fun to play with that. Possibly tie that in with contrast bands. Um, oh, have a bit of fun. Yeah, have nice. a bit of fun. But it's a brilliant, brilliant fit. Um, sews up beautifully. Lovely mm. pattern. Would highly recommend it. And just a band around the neck on that one. And yes. The rest so is just standard hemmed. hem on the sleeves and at the bottom. Yes. So, and that's yeah. a standard sleeve length, is it? Is it uh, well, I've actually shortened it slightly. So I like more of a uh, bracelet length. So mm -hmm. I've shortened it slightly. Um, but um, yeah, it does come quite long. Um, so it, the long sleeve version comes quite long, nice. so you can decide. I cut the long one and then just decided where I wanted it to sit yeah, and cut nice. the excess off. And how was your Wonderlust? My Wonderlust was lovely. As Even as I was sewing, I was thinking, this is the perfect t-shirt, mm. basically. Um, so I, it, it, it does have a traditional round neck, mm -hmm. um, which... It's quite high, isn't it's it? It's quite high, but for a, for a plain sort of chuck it on, you know, day when you're running around t-shirt, I would probably make a couple of them. But what I was thinking is I might still the neckline from your plantain <laughs> and just have a little bit of a scoop because that would be perfect for yep. me and the fit on the wanderlust is is fine i did have to add some length because as you know i am ginormous yes so i added three inches of length to mm -hmm. it and i think that's the perfect length yeah. for me it still gave me enough room to hem it mm. uh, but it's comfortable it comes to the belt and my jeans and it just means i'm not yeah. flashing or feeling like i'm yeah. exposed i also love the the sleeve length yes on that i one did as, as well. well actually yeah i should probably mention nikki's just reminded me saying that that i have taken three inches off of both the lego tank and the plantain to get it to the length that i want she takes, um, i add everything she takes everything <laughs> off but it's funny <laughs> that we seem to take the exact same amount so she adds three inches and i take three inches <laughs> to get same. it to sit the way we want it yeah. um so yeah it does come three inches longer uh, yeah. standard if you're wondering but you can play with them they're basic shapes so yeah. you don't feel that you need to kind of stick to yeah. exactly what that's what we were saying you know if you were to download all of the free top patterns you probably wouldn't need to order another jersey top pattern no. again because you'd be able to just chop and change exactly. between different sleeve styles yeah um, this one has a set in sleeve whereas the um uh, Wanderlust has a drop sleeve. Yes. We should also point out with the Wanderlust, bear in mind that this is a free top pattern video. Oh, yes. So the Wanderlust isn't technically free. If you were to buy it, it would cost you $12. But we managed to get ours for free through our Creative Bug subscription. Yes. Creative Bug is an online um, uh, tutorial uh, subscription. For a bit all like kinds crafty, of crafts. Yes. Um, but a much more reasonable price because it's only $5 a month or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but they do a 14 day trial. Yes. So that you could sign up for your 14 day trial, see if you love Creative Bug as much as we do, um, download your free Wanderlust top pattern and make that. And then if it wasn't for you, you could yeah. cancel your subscription. Um, exactly. And, um, and it would technically be there a free are, pattern. There are a few others on there as well. There's another There's fancy tiger others, one, yeah. the one hour jersey top which yeah. is a bat wing jersey top yeah. as well and i'm sure there are other yeah there's some there ghost well. patterns on there there's yeah. some lethal patterns on there there's lots of um lots of different uh, different ones so go and check that out we'll put so, a link below yeah don't go and buy it just go and do a, do a little subscription and see how you and like you might it. find that you might like, like it. and you've been a subscriber for the last three years like we exactly. have <laughs> and uh, so what fabric did you use for this one in this beautiful floral that this you one have? i think quite a few people um on social media may well have seen because i've seen lots of tops in this gorgeous fabric on instagram and yeah. it's called the Kabloom is another one from their Homestead range mm -hmm. um, and it's just lovely it's a cotton spandex it feels beautiful um, and beautiful, uh, yeah. it just washes really lovely so yes yeah. although when I tried it on it does wear me that that print mm. it's maybe a bit fussy for me but it does look beautiful on you yeah but it's uh, I feel like it's wearing me well <laughs> You can have a look at the picture, look at the picture for yourself and see what you think. So yeah, when I put yours on, uh, your Wanderlust, yeah. I loved it just as much. Um, yeah. I, again, would definitely go for the lower neck because I don't like a high neck. Um, mm -hmm. But I love the sleeve on it, the way that it sits right in your elbow. I yes. love how loose fit it is. It's a perfect chuck on top, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Perfect. So. so what's our verdict on this one, then? I think it might be a draw. I think it might be. I don't think we can call it. No. Um, you can call it. Comment below if yes. you have a favourite, but we yes. think that we both... Like each other. Because I would make that. And, and I would I, make you would your make other one. one. Round three. Dun dun. <laughs> <laughs>
In so the final myself. battle of the final, tops yes. is the battle of the stripy boat <gasps> tees. <laughs> and in the red corner, I made the Mandy by Tasuti, which I am wearing. Statistics. Yes, the Vita this is Mandy boat tee by Tasuti. It's one size. I made the one size. <laughs> <laughs> made it. You make it out of any striped jersey. It doesn't have to be striped. It can be any jersey. No, but nice in the stripes yeah and it took 1.25 meters and actually that's probably a bit of an exaggeration it's probably a meter you'd be able to get away yeah because i've got some left and it took under an hour uh-huh and in the blue corner is the hemlock <laughs> from grain line studios and um, again that's another one size which is why we thought it'd be good to pop pip them against each other again use any jersey you like striped if you want or anything else uh the pattern recommended one and a half meters again i think i could have got away with one yeah. and again it took under one hour Lovely. So what did you think of the Mandy? I love the Mandy. Yeah. And um, it's one I of those... I love this colour on you. Really <laughs> yeah, love this the on magenta. You. It's very nice. Uh, it's one of those where it's fitted on the arms and you can see how much body is in the rest of it here. So you really want to be looking for a very drapey jersey, which this one was. And it's, it's perfectly suited for this tee. And again, it's a very nice chuck-on mm. t-shirt. And I think I think you're make... coining the phrase chuck-on. Chuck on. This is this it's is a chuck on. on. There was What's people, your favourite chuck on? This is my chuck it on. Just chuck it on and it'll be fine. You don't have to worry about it. So yeah, I would make another couple actually. Yeah. And I think oh, oh. I really like the neckline on you. I don't think that one is too high because it's wider. No. It comes out more. I think it's um. Really, and you really you hem this the neckline. The first thing you do is hem the neckline. Okay. On either side before you attach the shoulders together. Oh, okay. So it, it was a very nice way of doing it without having to worry then about having to deal with the neck afterwards. Yeah. And obviously it's got the the straight sleeves and uh yeah so that's really not, it was so easy to put together mm -hmm. you know before you knew it it was kind of sewn up so it took less than an hour excellent fantastic and, and my stripy hemlock um is from Greyline studios and uh, a very similar because it's one size um it is a loose fit on me mm -hmm. um but to be honest i think that's the style is, um, yeah. i'm not sure that um if you were too many sizes bigger i'm not sure that it would have enough ease mm -hmm. um in it so i'm not really sure how much it scales up uh, similarly if you were more than a few sizes smaller it would probably swamp you yeah um so i i do really like it um i think i would probably adjust the neckline again um mm -hmm. and i also made a slight adjustment because i saw a lovely one online it was a cropped version mm -hmm. and so i went ahead and hacked the bottom off of mine thinking that was the length that i does. wanted um and then when i actually tried it on with the jeans that i would most likely wear it with um i thought it was maybe a little bit too short <laughs> so it's all right for a vest underneath it but i thought i'm not going to wear it as much as if i've always got to put something underneath yeah it. so i added a band um i had some extra fabric left so i added a band to the bottom um and now that's made it the right length for me and i'm really pleased i did because it gave me the chance to play around and turn the stripes. stripes the other way yeah and i really like that the band's going in the other direction yeah um so i'm very happy with it now yes um, it was a little bit but i cut I, I can't tell you the measurements, but I cut seven stripes <laughs> <laughs> of the bottom of the top. So I got a little bit happy with the scissors, I think. Um, but I would definitely recommend either of them. I think they're both yeah. very wearable. Yeah. Um, to be honest, um, I think if I was to make another one, it would probably be a combination of the two. Mm. Um, so if you have a look at the picture of me wearing Nikki's, it's clearly too long for me. I yeah. prefer the length of the hemlock on me. Um, and I do like that contrast band at the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, but I much prefer your neckline. Yeah. Um, and I also prefer the, the fit on your sleeve, I think, with it being tighter, um, but the actual body of the top being looser. Yes. I think overall I like I'd like a combination of the two. A hybrid, a Mandy Hemlock Mandy hybrid. Mandy Do you make yours again? I would make another couple actually. I think um, What did you think of my hemlock when you put it on? Well, I was uh, when I put other than it, it being way too short. It was it was it was very verging on the indecent shortness for me. <laughs> but also, I was put off by the mustard um, not your colour. Is it? It's not my colour, so I was automatically I didn't like it because because I, I, I was having to put it on. It was so I knew it was going to be too short, and it was the wrong colour for me. But I I don't think that was a judgment of the t-shirt, if that mm -hmm. makes any sense. It was just the colouring and things yeah. like that. So maybe if you make another one, I'll try that on. Yeah, the okay. fit of this it's very comfortable. Yeah, the fabric is just beautiful. Mm. So yes. this is a magenta stripe in a tri blend from Girl Charlie and they've got it in a variety of different colours they have, haven't they? Yes, and um, it was so it looks it because you can see how drapey it is <clears throat> 
you might think it would be an absolute nightmare to sew with. It's one mm -hmm. of those it would be one of those jerseys that curls up at the ends, but it wasn't. Mm. So it was drapey, but it behaved itself. Brilliant. Which is what you want. Really. My fabric was uh, the mustard heather small stripe, mm. um, which it comes in a wider stripe as well, like that one. I went for the small stripe. Mm -hmm. um, that one was quite tricky to handle, um, not because it's poor quality. In fact, the opposite. It's just it's so drapey. It's like water, and okay. I always find that the fabrics that are the hardest to handle are usually the things that feel the nicest on and this wasn't the exception yeah. so you do have to have a little bit of a patience and take some deep breaths um, with some of the more fiddly bits have a the coffee break. On things. <laughs> um, but it's totally worth it so don't be put off by the fact that it is a tiny bit more drapey yeah um, because like I said the final result is definitely worth it just yeah. have to take your time so, so what do we think who's the winner of this one I, I think can't call this I, one. It might be it might be another draw. It might be a bit boring, but I think maybe the well, hemlock hold on, hold on, combination. On. Would you make the hemlock? Uh, no. I would make the Mandy. <gasps> The Mandy wins! So I think just just on points. <laughs> on points, yeah. The Mandy might just pick that one. So it's not a knockout. But, but this is obviously just our opinion. Slight win. You can have your own opinion. You can Absolutely. try your own versions. You can do a little a little hack. You can merge them together. Yeah. Have a little try and see what We would happens. love to see your versions. Yes. So if you make any of the tops that we've discussed, then please do uh, comment below the video mm -hmm. um, with a link to wherever you shared the picture. Yes. Um, or just tag us on Instagram if you're showing it on Instagram I'm She Sews Vintage and I'm Sobby Sewing yeah so just tag us when you post your pictures because we would really really love to see them yeah. we'll put all of the details in the description of all of the well, lovely fabrics from Girl Charlie um, as well as links to all of the patterns we'll yes. also put some additional links on there for other uh, free top patterns that we found that didn't quite make the cut no. um, so we would still like to make them that it's might just be another that, video um, another time yes they didn't quite fit into our battle of tops format yes. um, but there are other ones more. available <laughs> so we'll put some links to those there as well <laughs> so we hope you've enjoyed this video we'll be back soon with another stitch sisters video very soon bye, bye. guys <laughs>